What is up friends, it's me, Maddie, and right off the bat, I'm gonna say something that might be a little bit surprising to some of you who already know me. When I was a kid, before the age of about seven, I really disliked reading. I wasn't particularly good at it, I found no joy in it, it was just something that I had to do for school. Given the option to do something else and reading, I would always choose the something else. Then when I was seven, I started homeschooling. This was in second grade, so I had already been reading for a little while. The thing about being a homeschool kid is that a lot of times you spend significant parts of your days at a library or a museum or something. The house that I lived in most of my growing up was right down the street from a public library, an excellent public library that had a huge children's section. And sometimes we'd end up there several times a week. Now my older sister and my mom would always bring back books that they would read for pleasure instead of just getting books for school. So I would spend a lot of time wandering up and down the shelves and talking to librarians just trying to figure out something, something that looked interesting to read. And then one day I found myself walking past a particular shelf. It was a shelf that had all of the Roald Dahl books. And of course on that shelf was a tall, pale yellow book called Matilda. The 90s film Matilda was one of my favorite movies at that age, and I had no idea that it was based on a book. And also the illustrations that I saw flipping through the book for the first couple seconds that I had it in my hands were really exciting because they were interesting and in a new style that I hadn't seen before, and I was super into drawing as a kid, so that got me excited. Even though I loved the movie, and I still do, I quickly discovered that I loved the book even more. I kept reading it over and over and over, and I would check out all the different copies that they had from the library. The library had five at the time. Two dark blue ones, two pink ones, and one yellow one. The yellow one was my favorite. Nearly every time we went to the library, I would check it out and read it. I started reading it so many times that I got a notebook to keep a tally, and I set a goal to read it 50 times by my 12th birthday, and I did. I've read Matilda over 50 times. That's absolutely crazy. If you aren't familiar with the story, I'm not gonna summarize the plot, but the main gist of the book is about a girl who falls in love with reading. And as I fell in love with this book, and with the writer Roald Dahl, and with the characters, I fell in love with reading as well. It's easy to say that this book had a huge role in me growing up, but until last week I hadn't read the book since just before my 12th birthday, when I hit that 50th time. So I decided to reread it. Matilda Matilda was hugely influential in my formative years, so naturally I took a lot of lessons and a lot of points made in this book to heart, even just subconsciously. So there are a ton of things about my personality and my actions and my worldview even that were influenced by this book. So it was really fun getting to discover the root of those elements of myself or even just be reminded of things that used to be important to me. One of the big things is the love of learning and curiosity and discovering. This is, of course, a huge part of my personality, as you guys can see by any of the videos that I make, but it was so lovely getting a little window into what that was like for me as a kid. Just getting excited and obsessive about something and wanting to share it with people. Because of a couple health issues I had growing up, I was really, really small for my age. So if you had met me at about age seven, you would have assumed I was around five. In the book, Matilda is supposed to be five years old, but she's also supposed to be small for her age. But that never stopped her from being powerful or mature or intelligent. And as a tiny kid who was always assumed to be be younger than I really was, that was really, really nice to have. The book also has a lot to say about kid power, which I love, and even as I've gotten older and stopped being a kid myself, I still think that kids are just awesome. Being a kid who was a product of the public school system and then quickly yanked out, I had trouble talking to adults because who doesn't? And this book taught me how to talk to adults and also how adults should talk to me. You should never talk down to a child. They're not idiots, they just have limited life experience. If they don't know something, they'll ask you a question. That's the big difference between adults and kids. That's the big difference between adults and kids, is that neither one of us actually know what's going on any of the time, just kids will ask questions. Oh my gosh, son. Oh, the light needs to stop changing. Oh my gosh, why is it so bright? Why did you decide to come out right now, son? 
Is that better? That's not better, it's dark now and I don't like it. Anyway, I guess now it's time for a wrap up because the sun won't let me do anything. If you had a favorite book when you were a kid, I highly, highly recommend you reread it because not only will you learn a ton about yourself now, you'll also remember a lot about yourself that you didn't realize when you were a kid. But wait, don't click away yet, it's time for the fact of the day. Woo! Ow, I sat on my knees for too long and now both my feet are asleep. It's time for the fact of the day because I'm a nerd and I hope that you are too. Woo! And today's fact of the day I have to read off my phone because it's a really long number. Google estimates that the amount of books that have ever been published is, drumroll please, 129,864,880 books. That is so many books, I will never be able to read all of those books. Even if from this very second I dedicated my entire life to reading books, I would never be able to read those. That's kind of sad. Anyway, that is all. Bye!